In this video, we're going to demonstrate the backup and restore procedure for a Cisco Expressway. To start, go to Maintenance, Backup and Restore. Starting from x8.11, it's required to use an encryption password. In previous releases, this wasn't a requirement. Enter the password and confirm it in the field below. Then click Create System Backup. Make a note of the password and store it safely, since this is going to be used to decrypt the file when we perform the restore. Without the password, it's not going to be possible to do a restore with this specific file that we're downloading right now. Save the file in a location of your choice, and that's all there is to a backup. To restore a backup, it's required to perform a factory reset on the server. The software version needs to be the same as when the backup was taken, so you may also need to upgrade or downgrade your system as well before doing the restore. First, let's run a factory reset on the system. It's recommended to do a factory reset via the console, since the IP parameters will be lost during this procedure. Log in as root and run the command factory-reset. It's recommended to answer no to all of the questions in the factory reset wizard, except for the last one asking you to confirm the factory reset. After the factory reset, it's required that you configure new IP parameters before we can restore the configuration. Once that's done and you get back into the web interface, go back to the Backup and Restore page, click on Browse, and then select the backup file that you want to restore. Enter the decryption key that you saved and click on Upload System Backup File. The next page shows if there are any calls or registrations ongoing. Read the warnings and then click Continue with System Restore. This will restart the server and the configuration should be restored. And that's all there is to performing a backup and restore on a Cisco Expressway. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.